Hey guys, it's Ashley from ReloadGeek.com and thanks for joining me with the ReloadGeek Insider. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about insurance and the reason why I wanted to talk to you about it is because there's such a big misunderstanding about what exactly insurance means and as it pertains to both the broker and the carrier. Um, the biggest thing that I've noticed, a lot of, of my customers or clients have asked me about the whole thing about insurance but what they told me was a lot of companies are saying hey don't go with anybody that's not licensed bonded or insured um, because then if something happens to your car they're not gonna pay for it well unfortunately the truth of the matter is that a broker being licensed bonded and insured is a good thing but it doesn't really pertain to you and I'll explain the first thing you need to understand is that from a broker's point of view when a broker is licensed, that just means that they have the ability and the authority to schedule the shipment of your vehicle or freight as a whole. Um, that's what the license part. Bonded and insured go hand in hand. Being bonded covers the carrier. Um, the bond requirement right now is $75,000. It's the broker's responsibility to be covered up to seven, for the $75,000 in order for them to do business. Um, the insured portion of that is the company through which the broker goes through to get their insurance. So, if a broker is licensed by the insured and something happens to your vehicle, their insurance does not cover your vehicle. So that's the main thing that you need to understand here. That is what the carrier's insurance is for. So, a lot of you are going to hear things like, Hey, don't ever pick a company that's not licensed by their insured um, because if damage happens, you won't be covered. Granted, you do want to pick a company that is licensed by an insured because if not, they're not legal to do business, but that does not protect your vehicle. I'm sorry to break it to you like that, but it does not protect your vehicle. The other thing is the carrier's insurance. So it's the broker's responsibility. This is why you hire a broker. Um, so you don't have to personally figure out how do I know if the carrier is insured? How do I know if their insurance is valid? What steps do I take? How do I get permission to even contact the carrier's insurance to find out if it's valid? These are things that these are things that you're paying the broker to do. So for instance, if you're going to move your vehicle and you hire me to do the job, then it's my job, my duty to you to make sure that before I assign your vehicle to any carrier that I check to make sure that their insurance is good and that they're covered for whatever amount that I feel that maybe if they have a six car carrier, they need um, $300,000 worth of insurance. Or if they have a six car carrier, I mean a nine car carrier, they might need a million dollars insurance. That's my job to worry about these things. Um, so... To answer the question or to dispel any myths about the whole thing about finding a broker that's licensed, bonded, insured, yes, of course you want a broker that is licensed, bonded, insured because that means they're legal to do business. But that does not cover your behind in the event something does happen to your vehicle. So I just wanted you guys to better understand the concept of it. I wanted you guys to be able to know what's going on when you're calling up these companies and know exactly um what's covered and what's not um and if you guys have any questions or you agree or disagree email me ashley at relogeek.com you can also visit my site at www.relogeek.com and if you like this video please like it and be sure to share thank you guys for watching and tune in next time to the Relo Geek insider